Hey y'all, it's Diamond Elise back with an uh, updated cracked pineapple tutorial. We are currently at 461 subscribers. Yes, I know. And I am two geeks. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for consistent video uploads. Um, and let's get right into the video. So what you will need is pineapples. Make sure you drain them on a paper towel to get moist most of the moisture out. Get some food color of your choice in white food coloring get some food flavoring some caro syrup domino sugar a thermometer a sauce pot and a stirring spoon i thought i would let you guys know that i will be using the lorraine watermelon food coloring i just got a dram so that's all you need the most affordable thermometer that i found is this one right here and it was four dollars at kroger's i know they can get pretty expensive so you can get them from Kroger's and I just broke it as y'all can see or you can get it from Hobby Lobby. So what you want to add into your sauce pie is one cup of sugar. A half a cup of Cairo and a half a cup of water. You want to stir really good. And add a few drops of white food coloring and then add a few drops of your color. The more white food coloring you use, the brighter your color will be. And you want to make sure you get a food a good food coloring. I didn't really like this one. If you want to try, you can try a sunny side up, I think it's called. But if you get a bad food coloring, it'll be a lot of white specks in your color. And we don't want that. So now I'm just adding in my food coloring. I'm adding blue in because that's the color my best friend picked. We're just going to stir it really good. And you want to make sure you take your time with this and stir completely. Because if you don't, it's going to be huge specks of gel color all everywhere in your product and you don't want that i'm adding a bit of white because i want to make my blue a bit brighter and i'm not really sure right now how many drops of food coloring you should add because i don't know if it affects the taste i really haven't got to it but i put my stuff in the refrigerator and i tasted it it's so good so it's all right with me but if you want to research that some more you can so now we are taking our mixture and putting it on the stove i personally put it on four so that's about medium heat and you want to watch and stir your mixture because it will burn if you leave it unattended <laughs> um you want to put your thermometer in the pot midway to get an accurate reading if it touches the bottom of the pot it will be inaccurate i like to add my flavoring in when i feel like my mixture is getting a little bit thicker you also want to be mindful of how much you're pouring in at a time because as you can see my color is kind of changing getting darker like a purple because the flavoring is pink or red whatever if you are like me and broke your thermometer you can do it the old school way and get a cup of water add a few ice cubes and drop a piece of candy in the cup if it gets hard as soon as it touches the water it's ready if it's still like kind of mushy it's not ready and you want it to to stay on the stove longer
So now I'm about to start my pineapples and these are personal so I wash my hands and everything but I'm not using gloves. If I was to be making these for someone or if you're making them for someone, make sure you wear gloves, wash your hands multiple times. Um, I say that in all of my videos, it should be apparent now. But I'm using, I'm only dipping half in so as y'all can see right there. And another thing, um, I just want to let y'all know, y'all should not have little kids doing this. Um, the candy mixture is very hot and it, I, I was burned before. It hurts more than anything else I ever endured, endured. So make sure you have a grown up with you if you're watching this and a kid, cause this is not for you. This is the final product. You just want to pop this in the refrigerator so they can get cold. They're way better cold. So take my advice. Thank you so much for watching. See y'all in the next video.